Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to Charlotte, North Carolina, and the Charlotte 49ers dynasty here on College Football Revamped. We're back on NCAA 14 on College Football Revamped. A big shout out to the creators of this mod. They did a fantastic job and it opened the door for us to return to NCAA 14. This dynasty is gonna look different in a lot of ways. And no walk-ons, no being terrible in season one. And now we get to look at our opening roster. We start at quarterback with Billy Ray. He is a junior six foot four quarterback, and he is going to be the leader of this team probably for the next two seasons. So he will be the starter right now. But then there's Jamaica Panolan backing him up. He is more of a pocket passer. And watch out for him because you never know. Injuries do happen and he could get in. But he is a different type of quarterback than our starter Billy Ray is. But let's just talk about the mobile guy in the rotation here. Now he is a freshman. I don't know if he's going to play this year. I could easily redshirt him this season. And that is Joseph Pierre Achefu here. And he will be a guy that needs to develop his accuracy. But I think he has some tools to be a very good mobile quarterback. Now let's look at the running backs group here. Christopher Rose is here. He's a senior, 5'10", good speed, good elusiveness. He's going to be that do-it-all back we have on the roster. Then there's the young guy, the power back in Terrence Pitt Howard. He is huge, six foot three, 244. He will be a bruiser on the goal line. Then we take a look at the scat back in our rotation, Calvin Joshua. He is a very good back. And to be honest, he could get in the rotation quite a bit in shotgun formations. Watch out for him to come out of the backfield and maybe even be like top three in catches on the team. Then we go to receiver. How about six foot one Mick Lott? He is one of the best rated guys on the entire squad. He will be a good player to have on our roster on the outside for the next two years. But then let's talk about the speed guy, Riv Johnson. He is gonna be our primary kick returner, and he also has some potential catching the ball. Obviously, he's not the best route runner, but I really like him right away. Then there's the slot guy and maybe one of the guys that has the most potential on the team in Devon Cash. He is very, very quick in the slot. He is our quickest player on the team with 96 acceleration, only 82 speed though, but those quick cuts and those in routes and those corner routes, he's going to obviously abuse nickel corners. Now let's just move over to tight end and we look at Christopher Dalton, a very good player. He is a six foot six freshman. He and Devon Cash will be the developmental freshman on this offense in the next four years. Then we have some more depth at tight end. How about our man Marcus Williams? He is very, very good. I think he's polished, and he can block a little bit, so watch out for him. Two tight end sets are going to be our friend. Now, let's just look at the line. I always give love to the guys up front. Albert Romano is going to be a really good guard for us. He is a sophomore red shirt, so he will be there the next couple of years. Now, he is undersized, though, at 5'10". I'm wondering if that will play an effective role in how effective he is. Then there's Brian Bourbonnet. I love our guards. We're going to ride them to the end. We're definitely going to be running between the tackles and using the ability of our guards. And now we move over to defense. Who's going to practice against those two a couple of, I mean, throughout the season? How about these two up front? D. Brown Jr. is very good, and so is James Brett. These two will be good up front. Now, Brett is a senior, so we will need a replacement for him. Playing the 4-3 defense, so we will attack offenses in multiple ways. Now, let's look at maybe our best pass rusher, who I really like, Emmanuel Webb. He is a redshirt sophomore, 6 foot. Five. He's got some size to him. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do on this squad. Then there's the athletic linebacker who loves to fly to the football, Octavius Oakley. Excellent agility, excellent acceleration. He's going to be very, very good in the middle of our defense. Then there's the leader in the secondary. That's cornerback C.J. Terry. Now, he is older. He is going to be a senior redshirt this year, but great size. Six foot three, 183. 
and I think that he's going to be a guy that's going to make some plays this year. Now, who's the future of our cornerbacks group? How about Vincent Youngblood? He will start on the outside, and I'm going to use him everywhere. He'll play in the nickel. He'll play on the outside. He's six foot three as well, and he has good speed to him at 87 speed. Then we move to the back end of our secondary. How about Kevin Scott? Now, he is going to be a ball hawk. I love what he can do. 73 zone coverage, 67 overall, one of our best defenders. We'll have to see how he develops on the outside. And also, I could play him at linebacker. Now let's look at the other safety. How about Marlon Lambert? Very good. Now we only get one year of him, but I really, really like his potential in our defense. And I really like those key players. A lot of good players that you guys submitted. I have the back stores for them as well. This is going to be very, very exciting here in this series. Now, we move on to look at the rest of the roster. And at quarterback, we have some good pieces, I think. I think that Billy Ray is obviously going to be our best player at quarterback. Now, he's not the most accurate, though. I did not cut for Brian Rochford. He is our fourth string quarterback. Very, very good. I really like his potential as well. We'll have to see how all these guys develop. As we move over to running back, now I like Christopher Rose a lot. He's going to be, like I said, the versatile do-it-all back. He is the highest awareness, which actually does matter with holding on to the football and just being aware of the players around you. So we'll have to see how that goes with our running backs rotation. We have a lot of guys here, Lamar Lewis, and we do have a pretty good fullback in Blaine Bortles. He is a senior though. He will he's listed as a running back, but he is our fullback, 5 foot 6 230. I'm going to use the fullback in this series, and I don't know how big of a role it's going to be, but I'm going to use it quite a bit. Also, double tight end sets, all those type of big packages. I really love that. And I love, you know, using everybody on the roster. Now, let's move over to receiver. Mick Lott is going to be tied for first with catching with 70 on the team, but our best route runner at 80. So I'm hoping that he can step up and be kind of an older leader. Riv Johnson is a junior. Now, he's going to be the fastest guy more than likely on the team right now. And if we don't get that speed, we definitely have it in him. But right now, he's going to have to be a guy that's going to be extremely versatile. We're going to have him as our probably primary kick returner. But at punt returner, I think I'm going to put Devon Cash back there just because of his quickness, because it's kind of hard to take back punts in this game. You just need to set up good field position. So I think that's the smart move to make. Now, Raichu Howard is a good receiver. Six foot four, 179 out of Buffalo, New York. A good hands guy. He's uh, tied for first with 70 catching, and his route running isn't too bad. 71, that's actually second on the team as well. Then there's another young receiver who is actually our emergency, emergency quarterback, Young Sha Kung Yashu. Now, he's going to be interesting to develop. I think that he and Devon Cash will probably develop together along with Brendan Bentley here six foot five a little bit of a different receiver than the other two but I like him as kind of a red zone target type of guy and he has that size along with Ty Elliott he's a sophomore six foot three we have some good size we obviously don't have the speed right now but we can get that in recruiting now let's move over to tight end how about our tight ends group I mean we have seven tight ends that's a whole lot of tight ends a lot of these guys might play but some might move over to defense eventually even uh play some little a little bit of offensive line we do have a couple of seniors here so it's gonna be hard to get a lot of these guys some playing time especially since i mean you have seven that's that's very very deep at tight end now our offensive line is actually not too bad but it's actually not great either um, we do have a couple of nice pieces, but look at center. I mean, our highest rated center is 56 overall. And then we have Brian Bourbonnet, and he's a very good guard. He is a junior, six foot seven. He's got the size, so we're definitely going to need to recruit there. But we do have some good pieces, and I think that offensive line is definitely going to be probably a priority early on in recruiting in this series. And I will talk about recruiting in a couple of episodes when we go through the recruiting special. I always have that every single season. Hope you guys enjoy that. Now, moving over to defense, we have some pretty good players here. How about Lee Elmer? I did not highlight him as a key player, but he is definitely one of those guys. 
good finesse moves, decent block shedding, and he's going to be a leader on this team, to be honest. I'm going to need the pass rush because in this series, I will be controlling the defensive tackle. I will no longer be controlling middle linebacker. You definitely dictate outcomes on defense if you control on the defense and you have too much influence. I want to eliminate that. I want it to be realistic. I want players to have kind of their own personalities on defense. So using the def defensive tackle will definitely allow that to happen. Now let's move over to the linebackers group. Now, if you guys did see yourself on this team, let me know down in the comment section. One guy I did not highlight as a key player, but who will be is Ben Benjamin. He's going to have to make some plays alongside Octavius Oakley. Now, I am playing a 4-3, but it's a 4-3 multiple. So I do have some 3-4 packages that I will sprinkle in. I will use some subs as well. So pretty much everybody will get a chance to play. And honestly, I don't really know at this point who's going to be good, who's going to be bad. So I will try everybody. Darius Moss is a younger guy as well that could play in the future, especially with Ben Benjamin being a senior. Now, at outside linebacker, Gary Anderson is 68 overall. He leads our right outside linebacker group. Now, I imagine that I'm not going to send a lot of blitzes from the right right outside linebacker position, but I will have them play more in kind of coverage type of schemes where sometimes I will blitz them, but more often than not, they will not be the ones blitzing. It'll be the left outside linebacker, and I will blitz nickels, and I'll send some safeties on blitzes. You never know. We're going to need to switch it up because, like I said, when I'm controlling defensive tackle now, it's going to be a different type of game. So we move over to cornerback, and honestly, I don't really see one cornerback separating themselves from the group. So right now, it's going to base, go based off of overall. So Vincent Youngblood, CJ Miles are going to be the top two. Max Liebham right behind them. But besides that, I'm not really sure. At safety, it's pretty sure I have Lambert there and Scott. Those two will be the starters at safety. I don't think that's changing unless one of them absolutely plays terrible. I'm not sure that will happen, but anything can happen here. At kicker, we have Julian Mendez. He is a pretty good kicker. And let's just look at his kick power here. 78 kick power. That's not too bad. He is a junior, so he'll have one more year to develop that. And then we'll have to look for another kicker. Then we have Grant Newport, who is also a kick uh, punter with decent kick power, 77. But we will need to recruit there as well. He's a junior. Now let's look at our schedule here in season number one. Now Appalachian State is the only rival we have in real life. They did put this in the game. That is their rival. We will go up against Appalachian State every single year. And I have a little surprise for you guys. Some of you guys did not make the squad, obviously. But we do have Long Beach State in this dynasty. I hinted at going with Long Beach State, but I did not want this to be a Long Beach State channel. I want to show some, a little bit of versatility here, switch it up a little bit. I don't want to be one dimensional with one team. It, it, the thought was fun, but if I just include them in the series, that will be, that will be fun as well. So we will play Long Beach at home. We are in the Conference USA. We will have a pretty heavy Conference USA schedule here. And here in the season one, we're going to play in the Conference USA. That's where Charlotte does play in real life. Actually, Marshall is a second rival here. I did not notice that before. But I think we might switch to the Sun Belt just so that we can play Appalachian State in conference every single year. That is our main rival. And now let's hop into Red Shirt. Now, I do have a rule for this dynasty in particular. One each year on offense, one on defense. I'm going to go with the young guy here. Joseph Pierre will be redshirted. Now, I do have the scrimmage coming up next episode. You will see him play in that game. And then we will move on to the regular season. But I need a kind of a future at quarterback. And honestly, in my last dynasties, I kind of neglected quarterback a little bit. I didn't really go too hard off a of quarterback. I thought I could just put pieces around them. So I'm going to make sure I groom quarterbacks in this dynasty and get them ready to play. And I'm going to redshirt him. But on defense, I'm going to redshirt Chase Rollins. And the reason why is because I pretty much highlighted that Scott and Lambert will play the starting roles at safeties. And I think Rollins is a freshman that I can kind of groom into that starting safety role, especially with the senior ahead of him. That is probably going to be key. Now, I highlighted that Appalachian State is our rival. Now, some of you guys did not make the Charlotte 49ers roster, but I included the ones that didn't make that 
roster on Appalachian State. So we will face them every single season. And I'm going to include all of you guys. So if you guys don't make the roster on, on our team, you will make the roster on Appalachian State more than likely. If I try, I try to fit everybody in. Obviously, there's not room for every single body, but I will try to get as many guys in as I can. Now, a lot of you guys always ask me, show me your sliders, show me your sliders. So I'm going to show you right now. These will not change because I have played pr pretty much the whole River Cats dynasty. If you're new to my channel, this is my previous dynasty. I played that whole River Cats dynasty with these sliders pretty much, and they were excellent. It was excellent gameplay from start to finish. I based these off of uh, the community OS sliders and then kind of tweaked them as I went, got some pointers from a couple of other YouTubers, and... I think these play excellent. So we will roll with these. These are the sliders here. If you ever need to check, go back to the intro video to the end, and you will see these sliders as we hop into this dynasty. Next episode will be the scrimmage. Now, we have signed a two-year contract to scrimmage Syracuse. Two years in a row. This year, we will play at their stadium. Next year, we'll be at our stadium. So we will see how that goes, and we will take a look, a closer look at how these players look in the game before hopping into the real stuff. And let's see what happens here in this dynasty. I'm so excited. I'm happy that you guys submitted your guys to get into this dynasty. I'm very, very thrilled to get into college football revamped. It looks better. It feels better. It's just a better experience here in NCAA 14. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this series. We're hopping straight into it. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah. Started from the mud. Now you see us going up. Numbers never lie. Now you see us blowing up. People used to front. Now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck. I don't. Always been one up on all of these. They be trying to front for all of these. I ain't got time because they all in